Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, let's learn how to create aging analysis uh, with the help of VLOOKUP function and pivot table. Uh, might be previously if you have gone through uh, aging analysis report, so you are familiar that uh, you have certain columns and uh, according to the number of days, you have certain criteria and the, that particular amount falls in that criteria. So you have multiple columns there and uh, most of the users solve that issue of uh, aging analysis report with the help of if and and combinations functions, right? So in this video, we will learn uh, the other way of doing aging analysis uh, with the help of VLOOKUP function and pivot table. So let's get started. Uh, we have a data here uh, which has certain columns like serial number, uh, name of customers and their invoices dates, then amounts and number of days. So number of days has been uh, calculated uh, by a small formula which is today's date minus the date of the invoice. So number of days will be definitely allocated in one of the aging category. So here as you can see in the column J and K. Uh, these are the two columns we have uh, set the criteria likewise uh, for example if there is a, a number of days between 0 till 30 so it will uh, fall in this category then if uh, the days pass uh, after the 30 days for example 31 to 60 days uh, we have another criteria then we have the third criteria from 61 to 90 days then we have the fourth criteria from 91 to 120 days right right so in this situation you will find uh, around six criteria you can increase or decrease the criteria as well according to your situation uh, but primarily uh, the technical aspect of this particular solution by the VLOOKUP is that if you have ever used VLOOKUP you know that at the end of the last function argument you have a range lookup uh, let me show it to you so you have a range lookup where you place either false or true so in this particular situation we will be using true for the approximate match and whenever we put the uh, true for the approximate match where we have a lookup value as a number we also need to consider that uh, the data which we uh, created that first column should be in the ascending to descending order uh, likewise is smallest to larger so that the approximate match should be uh, close to what the criteria you are searching for otherwise it will give you the wrong result so in this particular grid sheet uh, you can see that the the days column has been sorted from smallest to largest right all right so let's uh, use the vlookup function equals to vlookup lookup value will be the number of days and uh, table array will be definitely these two columns days and category and press f4 key to make it absolute the column index number uh, will be 2 and definitely now here we need to decide that which range lookup we need to use so we will be using the true here or you can write 1 this function it will uh, according to the number of days it will fetch the category right and uh, we have successfully identified for each of the customer the category that in which particular category this uh, amount is falling right now the last step is to have a kind of a report aging analysis report where we have multiple columns side by side uh, for each of the categories for doing that we will be using pivot table so i will select the data and i will go to insert click on pivot table and let's bring the pivot in this similar sheet what you can do is you can create a new sheet for the pivot as your choice so for demonstration of this video i'm just uh, uh, making the pivot table in the existing sheet and let me select the location for the pivot and i will press ok so i have a blank pivot here so what i will do is i will uh, for the aging category i will put this field into columns uh, amount will be go in values then serial number in rows names in rows uh, and then invoice date right now as you can see that uh, the serial number name uh, names and invoice dates are coming in this uh, style within one column we need column side by side for that we need to 
make this pivot in a classic layout so for doing that right click on pivot and uh, go in this contextual menu uh, second last option is pivot table options click on that and here is the pivot option pivot table option window go to display and select this option which is classic pivot table layout and press ok so now you have column side by side we don't need the totals for each of the categories so for uh, turning off all those subtotals just right click on the field and uh, uncheck this subtotal okay so for each of the column we have turn off the subtotals uh, we need these years as is as an original format so I will right click and make it ungroup right so now you have uh, these uh, columns side by side now you can see some of the blank cells here if you want to put zero here so what you can do is right click again go to pivot table options and uh, here you will find an option for empty cell show write zero here so that each of the cell contains zero now for the formatting just select uh, the all the columns available in the pivot right and go to the home tab and do the comma formatting or decimal formatting as you like one thing which you observe here is that uh, you can see in the aging category the first column is of 0 to 30 days and the next is 180 days and above whereas we need 180 days and above uh, at the last so what you can do is you can just hover your cursor here and you will see a plus sign just click on that and hold it with your mouse and drag at the last and then drop it so you can just drag and drop the column settings you want as you like okay um, another thing is that uh, for example in the invoice date if we have a future date for example uh, let me put uh, today is 24th of February let me write 28th of February now what happens is because the number of days is not uh, greater than or equals to zero it's less than because aging is not due yet so it it should be a not due return instead of error so what we can do is because we have not defined uh, not due in this grid sheet right so what we can do is uh, every time if there is a future date it will contains an error and to uh, replace an error we can use if error function so within if error function I will write not due so this is how I have covered not due category and then I will just uh, copy and paste this function now let's suppose uh, if there is a change in in this particular data I will go to my pivot table right click and I will press refresh right and as soon as I re press refresh now you can see that there is another column of not due now this column should be uh, let's say at the beginning so what I can do is I will just hold my cursor until I see this plus sign and I will just drag and drop at the top or at the start right now this is all set with my report right and uh, let me just resize it so now you can see this aging analysis report so very easy instead of going for nested ifs and a combination of if and and uh, what we did is we have created a, a small grid where we have defined the criteria for each of the aging category and then we have used vlookup with an if error to cover the not due and uh, then we have created a pivot now when the transactions um, or the days will change uh, what you can do is just right click and refresh and it will update automatically right so i hope you like this technique uh, do share it with your colleagues thank you